Good morning, I'm meteorologist Michael White in the Fox 10 Storm Tracker Center. This is your weather webcast on Fox10TV.com for Wednesday and focuses on Idalia, which is a major hurricane, a category four that is making landfall within the next couple of hours between Tallahassee and Jacksonville, and it's going to be making landfall right there in the northwestern corner of the Florida Peninsula. We'll flip the wind particle streams on, and you can see just how fierce the wind speeds are with this thing. The maximum sustained winds are at 130 miles an hour. Storm surge brutal, and that's all pooling in on the east side of Idalia. The movement is northeast at 18, so it's a fast Fast moving hurricane, but the wind speeds are up to 130 miles per hour. The latest track from the Hurricane Center office in Miami is going to weaken this back to a category two by this afternoon and back to a tropical storm by tonight right around Charleston, South Carolina, and then it's going to kick its way back out into parts of the Atlantic by the time we hit tomorrow afternoon. As far as our weather headlines go, we're going to be tracking Idalia through the morning. Locally, we're expecting a drier day compared to Monday and Tuesday, and the rest of the week rain is going to be likely by the time we hit Friday. Let's go through the future cast and you'll see sunshine, especially west of I-65. You'll get a ton of sunshine. Clouds will be in the mix and there will be a few pop-up showers and storms that show up in the afternoon, but nothing like we saw Monday and Tuesday and things will stay mostly dry through the night tonight. Here's how the next seven days stack up. Highs will be in the upper 80s and low 90s, but the rain and storm coverage ramps back up for Friday and Saturday. So if you have plans those days, bear in mind rain chances will be higher. Mornings will be in the mid to low 70s and then Sunday and Labor Day. Monday we go much drier, but we also turn hotter with highs returning into the mid 90s by Labor Day Monday. I'll keep you updated on your forecast throughout the day on the Fox 10 weather app, Fox10TV.com and all of our social media channels. Have yourself a wonderful Wednesday.